The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we address the subject of repowering an outboard boat. As boats get older, performance often diminishes for a variety of reasons. Further, during the last several years, there have been some important advances in marine propulsion systems. So the question begs, how difficult is it to repower, how much does it cost, and is it worth it? To answer those questions, today we're going to take a look at repowering a 9-year-old 29-foot Hydrosport center console. This is a big, heavy boat with a 9-foot, 8-inch beam and an estimated test weight of over 10,000 pounds. The existing boat is in great shape with the upholstery, gel coat, and all components in well-kept condition. The current engines consist of a pair of original 2007 Evernood E-Tech 250s turning 14 and 3 quarter by 19 inch Viper propellers. Now, let's test this boat and see how she performs with those 9 year old engines. We conducted our initial tests on a calm 75 degree day. We reached a top speed of 36.4 miles per hour at 5200 RPM. At that speed we were burning a combined 42 gallons per hour that translated into a range of 234 statute miles. Best cruise came in at 4,000 RPM and 26.9 miles per hour. That speed produced our best economy with a 24.1 gallon per hour fuel burn that allowed us to keep going for 301 statute miles while still holding back a 10% fuel reserve. As for the instrument panel, we have a triple set of I command gauges. There's an old set of mechanical controls so there's no engine sync or throttle adjust, nothing really that makes the controlling of the boat any easier. The cables run from the console, under the deck, and out the stern, connecting to the external Seastar hydraulic steering cylinders. Both engines are connected by a tie bar, all of which makes for a rather cluttered engine well. Time has taken its toll on both the mechanical steering and the throttle linkage. The throttles were sticky and our test captain had to actually lift the sticks as he pushed them forward. There was no auto sync. The boat had a tendency to porpoise which required the tabs to be down and the engines to be trimmed in. This situation was not ideal for good performance. The owner of the boat decided to replace the original Evinrude 250s with the new E-Tech G2300s. He knew that the G2 Evinrudes were completely new engines from top to bottom and not just a new version of the original Evinrudes. The G2s have been designed from scratch in concert with the University of Wisconsin and are designed around the fuel injectors and were not warmed over carbureted blocks. With all that in mind, it was time to get into the shop. Our owner repowered this particular boat for just under $49,500. In the repower, New push-button ignitions went in for one-touch stop and starts. A new set of Icon 2 premium digital engine controls went in. These are connected with wires now, not push-pull cables. The owner chose to upgrade the gauges since he was looking to refresh the boat with the new Icon Pro gauges and a 4-inch SIMRAD display with selectable info. The old reservoirs were no longer needed since the engines carry their own integral 2-gallon reservoir. Of course, the new engines were bolted on and they connect with NEMA 2000 plugs, so it's plug and play with the in-dash multifunction displays in the panel. Each of the engines has its own internal steering units, so the clutter that filled up the engine well can all come out. When we're done, we've got a clean installation with only two rigging tubes running through the engine well, which contain all the wires in the fuel line. With 81 degrees of tilt, we can bring the engines all the way out of the water. And notice how, unlike the original installation, these don't contact anything on the transom. So now let's see where the rubber meets the road. We conducted our tests with the new engines and here's what we found. Astonishingly, we went from a top speed of 36.4 miles per hour with the old engines to 52.7 miles per hour. That's nearly 45% faster, but at what cost? Fuel consumption at top speed went from 0.9 miles per gallon to 1.1 miles per gallon, a 22.2% improvement. We went from 26.9 miles per hour at 4,000 RPM getting 1.1 mile per gallon with the original engines to 19 miles per hour at 3,000 getting 1.5 miles per gallon with the new G2300s. That's a 36% improvement. I know what you're thinking. A 19 mile per hour best cruise is too slow. But what if we go the same speed? Well, at 3,500 RPM the boat went 26.7 miles per hour with the new G2s and got the same 1.5 miles per gallon. There are a number of reasons for the dramatic improvement in performance. The most important, of course, is we went from the original engines with 1,200 hours on them to an all-new G2 engine that maximizes combustion to its fullest. Also, we went from 250 horsepower to 300 horsepower, from three-bladed props to 20-inch four-bladed ones, and our top RPM with the new engines was 5,500, 300 RPM better than with the old engines. Handling was also much easier with the new setup. Firstly, we have digital controls so it's smoother with no feedback and no sticking. We also have functions like single lever and engine sync so it's smoother all around. 
Steering is feather light, and while we can adjust the nine turns from lock to lock built into the existing steering that's still at the helm, we can adjust the level of feedback from the steering units in the engines themselves. That steering is also adjusted so it's stiffer at lower speeds and lighter at higher, so that also helps keep the ride smooth. Now we can trim the bow for optimum performance manually or take advantage of the automatic eye trim system for even easier cruising. And most importantly, that tendency towards porpoising, gone. We attribute that to two things. The additional 4 inch of offset that puts the engines farther back and the better bite of the larger 4 blade of prop over the smaller 3 blade. We also noticed no hint of prop ventilation at hard over turns. We had smooth acceleration and she was faster as well, getting on plane over a second faster and hitting 20 miles per hour in just over 3 seconds. Not bad for a 10,000 pound boat. Certainly these are impressive numbers and the owner was quite understandably excited about the results. And that's our look at just one example of repowering a boat with Evernerd's E-Tech G2 engines. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.